Hello. Um, so this here is the UYSI, UYC, or I don't know how to pronounce it, um, Fusion Splicer. Um, it's pretty good compared to my old um, Signal Fire AI6. Um, doesn't require my phone to be hooked up through Wi-Fi to get automatic fusion splicing to take place, so that's pretty cool. Um, but anyhow, there's a small complaint that I have with it, and what I was hoping when I brought the machine was that if I take the fiber holders out and I um, put a fiber into the holder here, in fact these aren't very good holders, um, I was hoping that if I cleave the fibre, uh, so I've got a few cleavers here, two of these are the FC6S, um, <laughs> FC6S, um, but this one here is the one that it came with, um, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a reasonably okay one, um, it's got a small little fibre tray here, um, I do wish that was a bit bigger though. So anyhow, what I was hoping is if I am to, say, splice a um, fibre, I was hoping that the tip of the fibre here um, would end up perfectly positioned when you place it in here to splice. Unfortunately, um, and I apologise for the shaking, actually I might be able to do it um, just by that there, maybe. You'll find that the actual fibre, oh, can I zoom in even more? Yes, I can. Oop, there we go. The actual fibre there has gone and passed the electrodes. So what you've got to do is pull it back. And in this particular model, there's not much space between the um, the channel there and the electrode. Um, the lights are a bit annoying too. You can't. The lights just seem to shine and completely miss the miss the working area. Um, so I don't know if you can see it there, but the fiber currently sits almost in line with the uh, electrode there so I will just quickly do up another one um, if I go back out to one times there okay and this time I will show it using the um, the FC6S So this one here, I have taken the um, the original fibre holder out. Yeah, and the reason was that I was hoping to um, have the single holder here. to there and close that down I don't actually think that one does work oh yes it does
and same thing is when we uh, put that into here what's going to happen is the fiber is going to be too long to actually fit properly and so what I've got to do is pull it back a bit So that's just something annoying about using this machine. Um, I probably placed those completely wrong. What's it got there? Left fiber placement error. I've pulled it too far back. Or did I still have it too far forward? So yeah, it's a nice little machine. Um, unfortunately, it's yeah, just the that was the one feature that I was really looking forward to, um, and that's the reason why I went with this over the Signal Fire AI9. Was these here looked like you could take them out and um, and actually put them into the splicer. But unfortunately, uh, oh, sorry, the cleaver, but unfortunately it doesn't let you do that. So yeah, other than that, great little machine.